hi guys so welcome back so in this video i'm going to show you that how we can push client installation manually autom uh, sorry manually so first you need to log on to your sccm server so once you log on to your sccm server click on start and uh, open a configuration manager console make sure you are log on with a domain admin or a uh, full administrator access which you have defined in your security in sccm so from here we need to select administration site configuration sites just right click on sites client installation settings client push installation under accounts as as we can see there is no account listed here so click on add button so click on new account it's not a we are going to create a new account for sccm yeah it's a new account so click on browse and before the before that make sure you have a compute uh, like a user account which have a member of local administrators group okay so i have already created a user called sccm admin so just type a sccm and uh, scc admin and okay uh, here we need to select a password for the account i'm going to enter the password So there is a way that we can verify the password is correct or not so just click on verify choose a network share here enter your dc name dc01 browse select net logon select folder and test the connection so you can see the account is verified successfully so click ok and again ok under journal there is a option that enable automatic side wide client client push installation so if you click this option whenever new computer discovered it start installation on that specific device so i'm not going to do that uh, there is another option that you can install a uh, client on your domain controller if you want you can and so just click on apply and okay okay so now we have done with this just close this one so now we are going to install this client for our uh, windows 10 computer so click on asset and compliance devices so as you can see we don't have client on our windows 10 computer pc when or uh, pc1 but before that we need to open a cm trace so right now i'm going to open a cm trace on my sccm server so open a file explorer this pc c drives uh, program files uh, then microsoft configuration manager uh, scroll down tools and give a permission and here is a ccm trace okay just double click on this and okay So there is another way to access this tool. Uh, just click on start backslash backslash sccm your sccm server hit enter and uh, you can type your uh, so we need to click on sms site called this is stp scroll down and tools so the best way you can right click and or you can drag this to your taskbar so in this way we can access our ccm trace from server so just open the server or ccm trace click on files open 
so again this PC C drive program files uh, Microsoft configuration manager logs and we need to find CCM okay uh, CCM.log just click OK and so, go, uh, so guys now we need to switch to our Windows client computer so just switch to Windows 10 computer so right click on taskbar open a task manager and more detail and once we start the installation you can see that uh, CCM setup will be displayed here so just minimize this and switch back to our CCM server okay so configuration manager uh, uh, asset and compliance device select the device where you want to install this client just right click on that device install a client so this is a configuration wizard so the site server computer or client push installation account is member of local administrator group we have already made this uh, the site server can be resolved computer name with the admin share it's already there the defender group or pol firewall policy we have already set all these settings uh, with the help of group policy so click on next uh, there are few options <clears throat> where you can see that if you want you can install this uh, client on a domain controller and always install the client so if you have a multiple uh, sites so you can select the site which near to you as right now I have only one site so I don't select any option so just click next and again click next and see that installation started so if you open the CCM trace you can see that it will start the installation So now we need to wait is start copying file from this location to that CCM client setup. So let's switch back to our client computer. So guys, now you can see that is start installation CCM client setup.exe. So let's move back to our SCCM client. So now you can see the end request this 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 so we need to wait and we'll see how much time this will take so it's uh, almost done so now we need to go back to our client computer so guys from client computer we can also run a ccm trace so sccm enter oh sorry it's a dc so select SCCM server from client computer Again, SMS your site code and my site code is STP. So, tools, CCM trace, yes, open. So, now we are all running this trace tool from our client computer okay so uh, see windows and uh, there is a ccm setup 
yeah ccm setup next yes logs ccm setup so you can see it's still installing a client so we need to wait if you see any kind of error so you can see that uh, there is a warning message that failed to install software material agent and all these kind of things so there are a lot of challenge when you installing a client manually or a, <coughs> a client push installation from server to your client so sometimes user are not connected vpn if they are working on remotely so you have to patience there are a lot of way where we can install client agent several ways so we need to wait here so guys in the end you can see that uh, ccm setup is ex exiting with the return code zero that means it's installed successfully if there is another code you can google it or you can check with your team so now there is way to check that uh, just start control panel category from small icons and here you can see that configuration manager so now you can see that under journal tab there is a call that as, uh, assigned management point and the value is a sccm stp dot uh, in certificate name none co-management one and co-management disabled connection type currently intranet and site code sms stp unique identifier and this is the version okay if we can click on component we can check all this component uh, action i'll show you that how we can uh, run a action uh, cycle when required another site we can see there is a site option is called default stp and there is a cache option which is very helpful if you you are trying to install any kind of software and stuck we can let you know how you can check all these things on a later video so that's all about it so now i'm going to switch back to my uh sccm server okay so okay so now if i'll click refresh or so you can see now we have a client installed our own windows 10 pc so guys in this way we can install client by client push installation so thanks for watching this video keep subscribe this uh, youtube channel and share with your nears and dears so thanks for watching have a nice day. Bye-bye.